Ugh, always a weird kind of struggle every December trying to figure out something else Christmassy to cover. Christmas! Flash. It's not a bad idea. Flash games. It's December. That means it's time for Christmas Lazy Game Reviews. Once again, another year coming to a close. LGR projects kind of winding down for the season, the month, you know, and in December I always like to, yeah, take it easy with some nostalgic-ish games usually revolving around Christmas, and this time around, Flash games. Why not? Web games, browser games, even Shockwave Flash games, to a degree they're all kind of interchangeable, but yeah, I'm specifically thinking about Macromedia Flash, Adobe Flash as it became later on. It's something I haven't really thought about in years, to be honest, but I spent so much time on websites like Addicting Games, Mini Clip, Newgrounds, Armor Games, Cool Math Games, Box 10, Congregate, and so on back in the day, especially for me, like from 2001 to 2004 ish, but yeah, a little bit after that as well. In particular, yeah, high school study hall or science class or math class or anywhere there was a computer that was connected to the internet and capable of running Flash stuff online, we were there. And while there were all kinds of other languages and APIs and platforms for games in particular that could be run in a browser back then, it's Flash that really sticks in my mind as like the type of game that most people remember playing in a browser. And yes, it was officially discontinued by Adobe on December 31st, 2020. Flash was effectively dead long before that, being a notable security risk, as well as being supplanted by things like HTML5. Of course, not directly replaced necessarily, HTML5 is a very different thing, but Flash, man, it was a whole era, and now it's just gone. Or is it? I'm happy to say no, no, it is not all lost, thanks to the very generous work of a whole lot of people donating their time and resources, there's a bunch of Flash archives out there to peruse. But the question is, how do you play them? I mean, do you just download old files and get up a, you know, a player projector program and run it that way? Well, you know, being that it is uh, the security thing that it is, that could be a little bit risky with stuff connecting to the internet, you know, old files you never really know. There are also options like the very well-made Ruffle emulator, and that's used on websites like Internet Archive and the Flash Game Archive and other places where you can run Flash games within the safety of an emulation environment. But Ruffle does have its downsides as well. So thankfully, what we're gonna be going through today is uh, I think just about the best option that I've run across for this. I mean, it is the best option. I don't know why I said just about and that is Flashpoint, which uses old Flash players, a whole selection of them that the client will install for you, as well as site lock proxies to get around old server checks and keeps all the files offline, and it only grabs the files that it needs from the Flashpoint servers, so everything is still nicely contained within itself, you know, it's not gonna be uh, going out there and doing awful crap behind the scenes, uh, but yet it's still gonna be able to run tons and tons of games, which is great. So let's just dive right into that. Get into some uh, Flashmas, Flashmas, <laughs> Christmas Flash games. <laughs> Flashmas. It's not a thing, is it? It should be a thing. It is now Merry Flashmas. Don't you agree? Flashmas? Yeah, I thought so. Well, first up, we gotta select ourselves some games here. So I've got Flashpoint 12.1 Infinity something 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 going. It had just updated. So it's updated twice today. I don't know how in the world they do this so fast, but it's constantly having crap added to it. And look at all of these platforms. It's, yeah, it's not just Flash. Uh, it's a lot of things. So anyway, go over to the games section here and there are almost 200,000 total titles to choose from at this point. It's 
it is absurd. But yeah, well, we could just type in, I don't know, Christmas <laughs> and get some results that way. I mean, that's just gonna be searching all kinds of different metadata. So we can go into a curated list here called Jingle Jollies, for instance, by the Flashpoint community. And there's a 30 game selection here, which is not a ton. Honestly, there's so, so much more in terms of things to choose from. But you can see how it works. You know, you can click on them and get little previews here and some data and description and uh, little, little screenshot bits and things. But if we really want to get to pretty much a full list, we can go to this Christmas Tide tag, which I had to look up Christmas Tide. I didn't actually know that was a term. It is, so it's just the Christmas season. So all kinds of different holidays are included in here that are uh, befitting the month of December. And we have 2,748 titles to choose from with the uh, Christmas Tide tag. Um, so much stuff. Uh, New Year's things, Christmas things, the Hanukkah things, many, many, many other things. So let's try to avoid the more adult content this time. And uh, yeah, find us a few, I don't know, four or five games to try out. And be honest, I, I really am just gonna be going on <laughs> the uh, the screenshots and the titles here, and that's about it. I don't have a whole lot else to really determine whether or not something is gonna be anything worth opening up, because this is a rather indiscriminate archive, as it should be. I really do appreciate what they're doing here, but man, I am tempted to uh, just choose some based on like a publisher or website that I recognize. Like, uh, let's just go with something from Newgrounds. Oh, here we go, Christmas Canon. Yeah, just about anything with canon in the title. Back in the day, I would, I'd be wanting to play it. So uh, let's download that and give it a shot. All right, got some pleasant enough music here for Christmas canon. Let's get some help. Uh, use left and right arrow keys, position the can, press space. Simple enough. It's Christmas time and Santa needs your help to deliver presents. Of course he does. It's one of like four tropes that every single Christmas game tends to have. It's like Santa's incompetent, uh, the elves are on strike, uh, Santa or the elves or both are evil, and then there's like everything is violent for no reason. <laughs> those four tropes, like if you take a shot every single time one of those comes up, I'm sure you'll be completely wasted by the end of this video. Whatever, let's play this crap. Or uh, maybe it's not crap, who knows? We got Quietsville here, let's see what is going on, okay. That's a nice parallax effect going on. Oh dear. Oh, so we got uh, a meter there on the cannon just going up and down the longer you hold space. Oh, it's like making a little mark too. Interesting. Well, that's, that's actually kind of a handy mechanic. Uh, otherwise, this is proving to be deeply boring. I was really hoping you would like be able to destroy stuff with the cannon too. Like if you missed, like you blow up the house. I don't know, I mean, it's just wishful thinking. Meh, kitten cannon, this is not. So we can show these actually as a grid here too, which uh, has some image previews with the title. So that's a little more to go on than just text. Uh, let's see, what is this, Christmas cat? <laughs> okay, you're a cat, D I'm sold. When Santa needs a little help, Christmas cat in that very Disney font. What do we got here? Uh, movement and jump is the arrow keys. Space is tackle. F drops presents and D is jetpack. <laughs> okay. Main objective of Christmas cat is to drop presents down chimneys and help Santa. There it is, there it is. There's the trope again. Santa is incompetent and you gotta do his job for him. Take a shot. Okay, what in the world? I'm, oh, I'm already dead. <laughs> well, let's see. Okay. Oh, you tried hard, but couldn't save Christmas. <laughs> don't give up, pet. Wow, this is faster than I was... I don't know what I was expecting, but this is fast. So, here we go. What's the deliver presents button? There it is. Okay. Urgh. All right, level one complete, good job. I can buy a jetpack for $250, extra lives. 
Yeah, better tackling sounds good to me. Oh, I like the fact that you have to buy stuff or you can get to buy stuff and upgrade your, your cat abilities. Oh, all right. Well, this is uh, a little frantic, but not that bad. Not as catastrophic as it could have been. Let's see what we got here. What else we got? What else we got? Got a bunch of licensed stuff, but nah, nobody wants to do that. Here we go. Don't eat the yellow snow. Ah, we gotta do yellow snow. <laughs> How to play. Use left and right on your keyboard. Don't let the balls fall. I mean, that's okay. What in the heck? What's this got to do with P? Yeah, it's one of these juggling things. I remember these. There was one we used to play quite a bit in study hall. I don't remember what it was. I'm pretty darn sure it was on many clip. Again, no. Uh, no yellow snow at all. It's just a... <laughs> that sucks. Wow, I guess all the creepy Elsa stuff was happening even in the Flash game era. i be honest, I didn't pay attention to anything Flash related past like 2008. Gift Keeper, Gift Rush, Gift Snake, Gift Pusher, Gift Time. Is that Shaggy? I think it's a Cartoon Network game, all right. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do licensed stuff, but uh, let's go for it. All right, Gift Time. Shaggy is super stoked to carry some gifts. Santa's in a hurry. Cartoon characters have decided to help him. There you go, there you go. Santa, incompetent, take a shot. Carry gifts, balance gifts. Seems good to me. Yeah, maybe we gotta do Shaggy. Come on now. Uh, complete it. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> it's a very, very sensitive mouse control thing here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. I'm gonna put the mouse in a different DPI mode for this. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Ba -dup, ba -dup, ba -dup, ba -dup. Oh man. Yeah. So this is why gaming mice were created. Congratulations, we delivered the things. All right, gotta do eight this time. And this is this is all it's gonna be, isn't it? Hitman Christmas shooting game. Heck yeah, dude! It's got blood in it. This Christmas, Santa's elves have a different plan for Christmas. This Christmas, they have a different plan for Christmas? All right, so, evil elf, there you go, take a shot, there's evil, and excessive violence, I'm guessing. So that's two shots for one game. I'm telling you, the Christmas trope scheme, it's a classic, I just came up with it. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is some, this is some flash game sleaze. Just nonsense, stupid violence, they explode for no reason when they're dead. Infringing of, of different trademarks and, and copyrights. Heck yes. Wow, this is like surprisingly, oh wow. Santa finished the job. And the reindeer is peeing on him. Wait, that is official? Agent 47 and Idas Interactive wish you a happy holiday season? It's a promo for Hitman 2. Well, I take it back. I thought it was infringing on all kinds of stuff, but no, that's a real thing. Wow. My goodness. Not the kind of promo you see anymore, huh? Exactly the kind of silliness that I was looking for, to be honest. I mean, come on. Like, remember all those, like, uh, oh. Like those games back in the day where it's like, I don't know, punch George Bush or like Bill Clinton is a doofus and stuff like that. Yeah, kind of reminds me of that, but you know, uh, yeah, <laughs> good times. Oh, these weird foot doctor games now, nah, dude. How about Christmas flirty kiss? A beautiful girl is gonna celebrate Christmas in different style. She's in a romantic mood. Oh yeah, oh, this is gonna be good. And by that, I mean awful. <laughs> Games to rule, kingdom of flash games. All right, Christmas flirty kiss. So a beautiful girl's gonna celebrate Christmas in a different style. She is in a romantic mood and want to kiss young boys. Uh-huh, after kissing boys are flirting with girls love and fouling her. 
<laughs> what? After first level, some girls are there. They don't want to see boys flirting with that girl, and they have power to release the kissing. Oh, sounds like a, a Christmas game to me. Oh, use mouse to play. Wonderful control description. So uh, we can move left and right. Uh, whoop. <laughs> what? Oh, we gotta hold on to him. We gotta really get in there. <laughs> Look at that poor guy. Oh, what are we doing to him? Oh, they look so despondent and sad. <laughs> it's like we're sucking the life force out of them with kisses. <laughs> look at these. They're just like, just collecting men. Like, kind of flicky situation. This is bizarre. All right. Well, this is the game, I guess. Yeah, Christmas. Oh, who is this? We got a lady. I can't do anything with her. Ooh, we got grannies now. What's going on here? <laughs> what? <laughs> Granny just laser eyed us. Oh no! Like, but all the women just like are like no kissing. Oh, this is. What is this? Can I kiss the grannies? Nope. What's the point? Well, that game was a piece of shit. So, oh yeah, nog. Let's uh, play something that's actually good. Like in that curated section. Yeah, we got uh, a good number of things in here. Ooh, how about Bloons 2? I've never played this one. In fact, I've barely even played the original. Kind of came out like, what, 2007 or 8? Like, right as I was starting to forget about Flash games. But its reputation as a classic Flash game precedes it. The Christmas expansion to Bloons 2. Mm. All right. This presentation is already leagues above like anything else we've played. Just about. Oh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, man. The fun of various power-ups. <laughs> Bloons! Ooh. Yay! Complete a level. All right, let's see here what we got here. They're all gifts. Okay. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is just such a phenomenal time waster. Like, how can you go wrong with this kind of thing? It's just... Kind of perfect, honestly. No complaints. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, we need a little. Yeah, explosive balloons. Honestly, I could probably just be here all day playing this. Uh, but let's uh, let's try something else and a little more nog. How about uh, sleigh with Santa? Looks like a, oh, a Congregate game. I don't know if we've played one of those in this video or not yet. Play with Santa. That's a heck of an intro. Wow, dude. Man, you know, you always knew to just go to certain sites back in the day to get your quality in terms of your Flash games. Congregate was high up there, at least from what I remember. Inside Santa's workshop, all the Christmas elves have finally made all the toys for the children. Now it's time for them to be delivered by Santa. Well, it seems like it's a normal story at this point. Uh-oh, what's the problem? Wild monsters broken into the workshop needing all the presents. Oh, Santa's too busy, so we gotta go and shoot stuff? That feels like a trope or two, so I don't know, take a shot if you want, or take a take a swig. Or don't, man, you know, alcohol-free is all good too. Just uh, Just do something enjoyable. All right, so what do we got going on here? Oh, yeah. Uh, again, the, the presentation just being so much higher is, is very refreshing after playing some real garbage today. And that dubstepy kind of whatever music, man, what the heck did this come out? This feels like peak 2012 or something. 2012 release date. Yeah, there we go. Wow. It's it's just amusing how much music like this dates a game. 
I guess we can't actually shoot while jumping. Maybe that's an unlock or something, but yeah. This is like a, a, a wave-based combat action thingy. Heck yeah, man. Ooh, this is getting real. Yeah, deck the holes with your exploded guts. Shoot. Yeah, that one platform, it's like, it's just not lined up with the, the things that are flying around there. Well, anyway, uh, pretty darn good. What is this called? Santa, Santa, Santa? Yeah, Slay with Santa. Solid stuff. All right, maybe uh, one or two more here. Let's see what we got. Rotten. Yeah, but what if you hate your new toys? Show your dissatisfaction by trash in the house. How much damage can you do with one kick? Oh, addicting games? I mean, yeah, we're gonna play that. Used to love that site. All right. Rotten. This is Junior. Like you, he didn't get everything he wanted for Christmas, and this year he's not taking the line down. Help him take out his frustrations and see uh, how much destruction you can cause. I wonder who that kid is and what happened with his haircut. All right, hit space to play. Simple enough, kind of a cannon shooting type of thingy. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, just kick the crap out of everything. That was fun. What is this, a lunchbox? All right. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> well, I mean, knock over the clock in the tree. I mean, yeah, it's something. We get a different level, hopefully. Nope, I think it's just gonna be the one level. Well, all right. So this kind of is gonna wear out a bit of its gimmick before too long, but you know, always competing for the best score against your, your friends. Especially in school, you know what, anything. Anything other than studying. Why did it get so dark? Yeah, it's like sunlight doing sun things. Alrighty, just, just one more game here. We gotta choose one more, just one more game. That's not total crap. How about uh, the snow turns red? <laughs> or the snow runs red? Santa's dad, it's time for Mrs. Claus to kill all the greedy children of the world. All right, all right. We've got uh, a heck of a piece of artwork right there, man. Good, good stuff so far. It is the year 2020. Oh no, I'm so sorry. And the spoiled children of the world have gotten greedier with each passing year. That's clearly the worst thing that happened that year. Santa couldn't take it anymore, so he killed himself. Um, anyway, Santa's gone. Mrs. Claus is still alive and she's gotta do something. What, she's just making the children pay the price? All right, so that's definitely full, uh, fulfilling the needless violence trope. Kill the kids to get cash for purchasing upgrades to Mrs. Claus and her Christmas tree. All right. That's what I was hoping. It looked a little Smash TV-esque, just uh, looking at the, at the screenshot, and that's exactly what it is, except you got upgrades you can purchase instead of just getting pickups, I guess, so. I'm down for, for this. You're not gonna chop down my tree. That's my tree. It provides gifts. That's interesting. It is interesting. Despite the edgy story, yeah, it's pretty good. Honestly, like in terms of representations of uh, 2020 in media, this is not the most inaccurate that I've ever seen. I wish there were more, uh, a little more variety in the levels, you know, and like uh, a different song, perhaps. But whatever, it's a flash game. Playing this for free back in the day would have been all right. Oh my goodness, I need another weapon. Mm. No. Well. Oh goodness. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Flash games, right? Oh my goodness. Ooh. Well, uh, yeah, I hope that you uh, found something enjoyable about whatever the heck this video ended up being. Um, let me know if you've played any of those or what your favorite Christmas Flash game might have been back in the day or uh, I don't know, just Flash games in general. I'd kind of like to do an overall retrospective on them at some point. Now that things like Flashpoint and these archives are a thing and they work so well, but uh, yeah, that's about it. 
I don't know about you, but I'm in a Christmas mood, a Christmas spirit, or perhaps that's just this. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Christmas. <laughs>